Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, my name is Hikmat Nisim Agustiana Here, I would like to share my understanding about the characteristic of young learners and how they learn based on what I have studied this past six weeks Okay, let's begin Okay, the first characteristic is spontaneous which takes advantage of young learners spontaneous nature to by asking them to dramatize a simple dialogue in many different ways and for the second is curious and receptive um, teachers should prepare activities that arouse students curiosity perhaps that teach them about unique things could help and for the next is imaginative teacher can use stories or plays to create an imaginary world for student while learning new language and for the next easily distracted and short attention span it's engage the children with fun activities that arouse their curiosity and imagination and for the next egocentric to handle egocentric young learners approach with empathy set clear expectations, use positive reinforcement, and teach perspective taking through activities like role-playing, encourage collaboration, address individual needs, and be consistent and patient. And for the next, social and relate to others. Teacher should have a balance of activities that allow students to have various type of interaction. And for the next, they enjoy imitating and skillful in listening accurately and mimicking what they have heard. Um, science young learners learn by mimicking what they hear. Repetition is key. Teacher can repeat new vocabulary and praise multiple times and using different intonation and gestures to keep it engaging. And for the next, they are less shy than older learners. Instead of long lectures planned for short engaging presentations where students can take turns presenting what they learn this could involve short talks skits or demonstrations and the next they enjoy learning through playing these games and activities educational games and activities can make learning fun and engaging this could involve board games card games or even simple games like Simon Says or Extra. And for the last is social and are learning to relate to others. It's have a balance of activities that allows students to have various interactions, such as in pairs, in groups, one-on-one, -on -one, and the whole class. Okay, now I would like to share you the theories of Jane Pidget, Lev Pijatsky, and Jerome Brannan. And for the first theory is from Jean Piget and according to Piget that the child is active learner continually interacting with the world around solving problems that are present by the environment and for the implication of Pigetian theory for language learning is the first the child is sense maker children also seek out intention and purpose in what they see other people doing bringing their knowledge and experience to their attempts to make sense to other people's action and language. And for the next, the world offering opportunities for learning. Transferring this idea metaphorically to the abstract world of learning and ideas. We can think of the classroom and classroom activities as creating and offering opportunities to learners for learning. And for the next theory is theory of Pijotsky. According to Pijotsky, the child is social. The importance he gives to language and to other people in the child's world. And the implication of Pijotsky and theory for language learning for the first world and meaning. The importance of the word as unit has been downplayed by those who have developed Pijotsky and theories. And for the next, the zone of proximal development and the last learning as internalization and for the last theory is the theory of Jerome Brunner and according to Brunner scaffolding and routines for the first 
make children interested in the task and the next simplified the task into smaller steps and kept the child on track towards completing tasks and the next point out what was important to do and the next control the child's frustration during the task and the last demonstrate an idealized version of the task okay maybe that's all for my understanding about the characteristic of young learners and i'm very sorry if there are mistakes from what i said or what i shared to you thank you very much Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh